let's take a look at how to record donations in Applos. To get started, in the top navigation, you'll click on Donations, and then go to Contributions. Here you'll see two options, Contributions and Deposits. Contributions is the screen that you'll use to record individual donation records. You'll also later have an option to group together multiple donation records to create a batch. Deposits is the screen that you'll use to record multiple donations at once in a single deposit batch. Let's take a look at contributions first. Again, this is the screen where you'll be able to record and view individual donation records for donors. You'll also be able to see whether or not a particular donation record has been included in a deposit batch, indicated by this deposit column here. So if you see a name and a date linked here, that indicates that the donation record is included in a deposit and the link will take you to that deposit. If you have a checkbox here, that's indicating that these contribution or donation records are outstanding and not yet put in a deposit batch. To enter a new donation record, you'll click on the green plus button in the upper right. This will take you to a new window where you'll be able to enter in all of the details for the donation. So let's walk through an example. Let's say we've received a donation from Eleanor Shellstrop. She's given just a general donation, so we'll select the general donation's purpose. Her donation is not yet acknowledged, so I'll leave the status as unacknowledged here. You can also toggle this if you've already sent a thank you, or if you're uh, planning to do something else, you can choose dismiss, but I'll go ahead and leave that as unacknowledged. The contribution date is the date that we actually received the donation, so let's say I'm catching up and this is actually a donation I received on the 15th. I can include that date here. The amount is going to be $75. That's how much money Eleanor donated. The reference ID would be used to record something like a check number or transaction ID, any sort of numerical reference related to the donation. So it's possible if this was a cash donation or maybe even a credit card donation where you don't have any sort of number value like that, you can leave that blank. Same thing would go for note if you have, uh, if it's a check and you have something written on the memo or if there's any other sort of comment or note that you want to or need to record for the donation, you can put that in the note field. Otherwise, you can leave that blank. The expense amount field would be used to record any sort of fee or other associated expense with the transaction. So if this was through a an online donation or if you had a credit card processing fee, anything like that, you can record that here. Um, otherwise, if that doesn't apply, you can leave it blank as well. Non-tax deductible amount would refer to any part of the donation that uh, cannot be claimed on taxes. That's not a tax deductible um, part of the donation. So if there was a, a fair market value or anything to indicate there, you can record that amount there. And then the non-tax deductible note would be a description or comment on that particular amount. Again, this may not be applicable to the donation that you receive, in which case you would just leave that blank. And then the final field that you can fill out is the soft credit contact. So if there is a soft credit that needs to be applied, you can select the contact from this field here. But once you have the main fields filled out for the contribution, you can go ahead and save it. So if you're adding a couple at once, you can click Save and Add, which is going to create the contribution and then give you a empty entry screen to add another contribution. So let's add another one from Michael, oops, Michael Scott. He also gave to general donations, haven't yet acknowledged. Maybe he donated on the 16th and he gave $50. It was a check, so we can put in the check number here. Um, and I don't have any note or comment, um, so I'll leave the rest of that blank. If, that's, if I'm done adding contributions, I can click Save and Close, which will, again, create the contribution and then bring you back to the main contribution screen. So here you can see these are four contributions that have been recorded, but I have not yet deposited them or batched them together. 
So I can do that from this page by checking the boxes in this column and then clicking the Create Deposit button. When I do that, it's going to give me a new deposit batch entry and it's going to um, allow me to post these as a deposit as if I was, uh, so once I do that at the bank, I can record it that way in Aplos. So let's say I received these donations on the 15th and 16th, but I didn't deposit them until today, the 18th. So that's what I'm putting for the date at the top. So this date at the top of the entry should be the date that these donations were deposited at the bank. So it's possible that you received and deposited donations on the same day, in which case the dates on the left here would match the date at the top. But it's also possible that in this, like in this case, I received these donations on different days and then deposited them all together in the middle of the week. So that's what I'll put here for the date. The batch name is an internal description for you of what this deposit batch consists of. So by default, it just is going to fill in contributions deposit for you, but you might have, uh, this is just a weekly deposit that I can put there. If you have an additional description, you can place that in the batch description below. So you do need to have a date and a name for each contribution batch that you create, but uh, you don't have to have a description if you have enough information in the batch name. So you'll see that all of the information that we filled out in the fields uh, in the contribution entry are brought over here. So it's the same fields, just instead of scrolling down, they go across in different columns. So you can confirm that all of those are correct. You'll also want to verify that the bank account that's selected in the bottom left corner here is correct. This is going to be indicating within which register in Aplos these donations will be posted to. So if these are four donations that I am depositing into my general checking account, I can confirm that yes, my general checking register is selected here, and then I'm just ready to save. So I'll click save, and that's gonna take me to the deposit screen. So as a segue here, we can see this is the other option under the contributions drop down under donations and this is where you would be recording multiple deposit uh sorry multiple donation entries in a single deposit batch so here's this deposit that we just posted it consists of four different contributions from four different contacts for a total of 250 dollars um, we can also create it a deposit straight away from this page so instead of creating the individual donation records first and then batching them together as a deposit, we can just deposit we can just create a deposit and put them all together at the same time. So let's say we have a deposit for today, weekly deposit. Um, let's see. Maybe this is for, just so that we can distinguish it from the one we posted earlier. So it'll be the same fields that you filled out in the contribution screen. You're just adding them all at once rather than adding them individually. So we'll have the date, which if it's the same as the the date of the batch, you can leave this blank and that will be filled in for you automatically. If you have a reference ID, so maybe this is a check number, I can put that there. If I have a note, I can put that there. Um, and then the donor name. So let's say we got this from Jake Peralta. This was for uh, the after school project and he gave $25. We also have another donation from Amy Santiago. She also gave, uh, let's say, maybe she gave just a general donation of $100. And then maybe we had a third donation that we're depositing. And this one is from Michael Scott. He also just gave to donate general donations. He had a check and it is going to be for $50. And so we have these three donations that we've received. We're depositing them all together. So we can enter all of the information that we have here. 
make sure again that the bank account is correct on the left and then click save and that'll bring us back to the deposit screen where we can see this one so here's the second one that we added with three contributions from three different contacts um, just two different ways to enter a deposit so you can either enter a deposit and record all of the donations at once or you can record the contributions individually first and then create a deposit um, so those are the two main ways of entering donations in Aplos. You also have an option to import donations, which we cover in a different video. So be sure to check out that resource to find out how you can use Excel to bring in multiple contributions at once. After you've recorded donations in Aplos, you'll probably want to run reports on those donations. So if we go to reports in the top navigation here, and scroll down to the donation section there's a few different donation reports that are available by far the most common is going to be the donations by contact this report will give you a summary of what all of your donors have given for the given time period which defaults to the current fiscal year year to date uh, and this report is also the report that you would use to generate contribution statements Again, we also have a specific resource that goes over generating contribution statements, so be sure to check that out. But from this report is where you'll be able to see the summary and detail of what you've received from your donors for any given period of time. So hopefully that helps with giving you an overview of how to record donations in Aplos. Feel free to reach out to our support team if you have any additional questions. We can reach be reached by email at support at aplos.com or by phone at 888-274-1316. Thanks for using Aplos.